This morning, the words cancer, treatment, and breakthrough are being heard in the same sentence, a sentence being uttered by top researchers. Scientists may have found cancer's Achilles heel, a way to use a person's own immune system to kill tumors. Some of the research was done at University College in London, and that is where we find our Thomas Degg this morning, right outside that beautiful building there. Uh, Thomas, they are hailing this as a real breakthrough. It is fair, or is it fair, I ask, to use that word? It's so loaded in a disease for which there is so much hope. The researchers are using the word breakthrough. They're very excited about this news. Now, it is preliminary research, but what makes cancer so difficult to fight is that the tumor, the cancer cells, mutate, making it difficult to track which cells need to be fought, need to be killed to fight cancer, especially with lung cancer and skin cancer. Now, researchers believe that they have found the key to tracking the one element in the cancer cells that remains in the tumor even as it mutates. Here is a, a Canadian doctor who I spoke with here in London a little earlier this morning. He uh, is with Cancer Research UK, who was uh, instrumental in uh, making this research happen. A lot of immunotherapy treatments have been in the headlines recently, and, and all of them are really trying to do the same thing, trying to harness the immune system and get it to fight cancer. But we've really been sort of flying blind so far. We don't know what it is that the immune system needs to recognize to distinguish cancer cells from healthy cells. And this might give us the roadmap to do exactly that. So how will it work? How will it give researchers the roadmap, Thomas? Take us through how this potential treatment would go. The tricky thing is um, cancer cells are different for every person, so this treatment would have to be personalized, customized, if you will, for every cancer patient. That could take upwards of a year per patient, would be very costly, and no one knows at this point if this will really even work. It hasn't been tested on humans or animals. Clinical trials could still be two years away, but uh, experts are confident that perhaps they might be able to identify the cells in a person's immune system that could fight these cancer cells, reproduce them in a clinical, uh, clinical setting, then put them back into the person's uh, immune system and have the person's body fight off the cancer itself. That could potentially mean a cancer vaccine one day, Heather. Thomas Degg, thank you very much. Just outside that uh, British research facility this morning.